This movie is a tragic tale about a man named Cameron who discovers his dying and instead of telling his wife and son, he chooses to replace himself with a clone who has all his memories so that his family won't have to mourn him. This movie has a good premise, it raises ideas about future technology and ethics that's really interesting to be explored further. It's also about how the latest high technology kinda prevents us from really communicating. Unfortunately, the movie has very little interest in pursuing them. The filmmakers have no intention to make this as a satire as well. It's lacking emotion and without any meaningful intrigue. The story eventually becomes underdeveloped. The movie is more of a melodramatic thought experiment. It becomes increasingly earnest and dull, spending too much time lingering over a tearfully contemplative approach that it's too sentimental to exert much of a genuine feelings. The cast do their best, especially the two main leads. Both give the movie a powerful emotional honesty that's consistently undermined by the film's poorly developed intellectual conceits. Two Oscars winner Mahershala Ali in a dual role performance where he's playing Cameron and his clone Jack is basically playing a future-length death scene while simultaneously fighting for his existential rights as a clone. His performance is really good, but the movie does neither Ali or itself any favors. It's easy to sympathize with Cameron's plight to save his family from sadness, but it's actually even a lot easier to sympathize with his wife, Poppy, played by Oscar nominee Naomi Harris. The movie never explores the Poppy's perspective about this. The movie goes to the much lengths to establish Cameron's family as a perfect bunch while Poppy is shut down emotionally after losing her brother. This is too simplistic way to prevent the movie to have Poppy's point of view regarding Cameron's plan to create a clone for her and the family. The movie gives Poppy no respect at all to let her make her own choices. She is denied the opportunity to comfort her husband in his greatest time of need to say goodbye and to act actually move on with her life. Cameron's decision is based on a lie, deceit and not believing enough in your wife to live with your condition. He's also basically leaving the future of his wife and family in the hands of a powerful corporation. Of course, we feel a bit of sympathy for Cameron's dilemma, but also feel like he chipped out to make himself feel better about himself. This is a profoundly selfish situation. There's also the psychological destructiveness of commissioning a replacement for yourself and the guilt he might possibly feel afterwards. In the end, it's difficult to identify ourselves with Cameron's misguided ideals. Other than that, the movie also feels rather flat. The light moments and the emotional outbursts are so rare, but even in some of the heated moments, the movie lacks much of a punch. Overall, this movie feels like missed opportunities, especially with its narrow point of view. The philosophical and ethical questions raised by Cameron's solo decision are left hanging. The combined great talents on screen are eventually not enough to justify this film's existence. We do not recommend this movie at all.